Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about some questions that you guys have sent in. There are a whole range of topics that we're going to be discussing in regards to Supergirl, and also a little bit of Superman Lois as well. Also talking of Superman Lois, the season finale airs tonight. I will have my video out on the finale ASAP, so be on the lookout for that. But for now, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. If you want to be included in any videos like this, this is a kind of Q&A type video, please be sure to go over to the community tab right now and comment your topic, theory, question or idea and I'll be sure to answer the best ones and steal from this last one that I have. I have like a whole extra video that I have planned in regards to your questions to do with the Flash. Obviously we're talking mainly about Supergirl and Superman Lois right here. So yeah, go ahead and do that if you want to participate in these videos. But for now let's move on to our first question. And that is from FictionMaster101 on YouTube who says, Can the Flash and Supergirl make one last team up on his show? Also, how do you think the Flash can discover the new multiverse? And is there at least a Justice League of the Arrowverse in the future? Well, let's answer the first question. So, can the Flash and Supergirl make one last team up on the show? And the simple answer to that is no. And that is because as far as I'm aware, I'm pretty sure Grant didn't film anything for the Supergirl finale. And the Flash's crossover episodes have literally just started this week earlier on Monday and Melissa was just spotted in LA so she upped and went out of Vancouver pretty much straight away after Supergirl wrapped filming so she's not going to be in the Flash crossover episodes for sure like it would be a huge surprise and I'm pretty sure if she did anything it would be on like a kind of green screen and I think it's very very unlikely that Supergirl and the Flash are gonna make one last team up on the show as you say but it's a good question and it's totally something that I wanted however it doesn't look very realistic to hope for that because as of right now it looks like it's probably not happened the second question that Fiction Master sent in was how do you think the Flash can discover the new multiverse well I think he's actually gonna discover it in the first few episodes of this season. So we're obviously gonna get the rest of the Arrowverse characters showing up in the crossover episodes, that is five episodes. We don't know how it's gonna go down, like how many people are crossing over and who are crossing over. However, if someone like Stargirl shows up, they have to explain the multiverse because she is on Earth 2 and supposedly all the Earths were destroyed, including Earth 2, but now it's a different type of Earth 2, it's completely different and it's a sort of reincarnation of that world. So I'm pretty sure The Flash is going to discover it in the first five episodes of this season. Okay so let's move on to the last question, is there at least a Justice League in the future of the Arrowverse? I think there is definitely a Justice League but I don't know if it's our normal roster of heroes because you've got Green Arrow who just died so he's not going to be there, Black Lightning his show just ended, Supergirl's show just ended, so those characters aren't probably going to be popping up. There is a chance that Black Lightning shows up, but it's still a slim chance nevertheless. However, there is characters that can reform the Justice League, even though the Justice League wasn't made a big deal out of. Literally, they had that one scene, and then from then on, we literally got nothing with the whole team. And obviously, that's just due to circumstances, due to the pandemic, that they weren't able to actually get around to do a crossover however it doesn't seem like that original team is going to be back together probably ever again okay so let's move on to the next question this comes from Lionel Jacobs on YouTube who asks could Grant shoot a scene with the Flash crew against the green screen for the Supergirl finale when he returns to season 8 well this is exactly what I was just talking about so I wanted to tag this on at the end because it seems like lots of people are questioning like could they green screen Melissa into the Flash or could they green screen like Grant into Supergirl's finale? Well I think if they actually wanted to do it like the actors and they had the availability and the you know crew members and the writers actually wanted it they could have made it happen in real life and you know they were both in Vancouver at the same time and there was definitely a chance if Melissa stuck around longer that they could have 
made it work out. However, it doesn't seem like they made it work out in the end. So, yeah, doesn't seem like they're going to probably do that because they would have done it in reality if they could. And they definitely could have if they tried. However, let's move on to the next question. This comes from Donovan on YouTube who asks, I think Jonathan will have superpowers in Superman Lois Season 2. Well, I completely agree with you there, Donovan. I really do think that Jonathan is going to get powers. However, I'm not sure if it's going to be straight away. I think if he does get powers, it will be towards like the back half of the season because he's going to have some time to still be himself. Obviously, he's kind of adjusting to this new life that he has in Smallville and obviously he's helping out his father he's helping out you know team superman as a whole which is essentially his family but i think the main focus is still going to be on jordan probably suiting up in the superboy suit next season because that is something that they've led up to but he hasn't officially become a hero yet and he definitely does have to get a sort of cow and cape and everything very very soon but for now let's move on to the next question this next question comes from Aeon on YouTube who says, Do you think that Kara will leave National City or could Caramel become Endgame and who could be dead in that funeral episode? So this is basically like three different questions. So let's answer the first one. Do you think that Kara will leave National City? Well, I think the way that the Supergirl finale is going to end is probably with something happening to Supergirl. We kind of know that, right? They like to establish that they've moved on or potentially like they aren't in this kind of normal world they aren't going around as a hero because then you know they would naturally be called on for these crossover events in the future and everything so in terms of continuity they need to get rid of Supergirl somehow and we've discussed this before but they're not gonna kill Supergirl because that's not the type of show they are not Arrow and also we know that Melissa has put in some specific requests about how the season ends apparently it's been described as quite optimistic or I guess hopeful but yeah there is a chance she leaves National City and she literally goes back to Midvale that is obviously a chance there is a chance she goes back with her father to Argo to live there and obviously there is a chance she goes to the future considering the fact that Monel and Wynn are back in the present in the Supergirl series finale now let's move on to the next question because it links in with this so could Caramel become Endgame? Well, there's an obvious chance that that could happen, mainly because Monel is back, right? He has come back to the past, they are reunited, and maybe something happens. However, I'm going to say it's probably a bit unlikely that anything super kind of Endgame is going to happen in the finale, because they probably would have had to lead up to it. Yes, Monel might show up at the end of, say, the penultimate episode of the entire series, but I don't think you're going to have enough time to set up all of that because you got a lot of characters returning you have to remember like you got Wynn, you got James, you got all these other characters as well so it isn't just going to be about Kara and mon -El. however there's a chance that she goes to the future and she becomes a legionnaire, she fights alongside mon -El for a while and that's when you know something bigger happens in terms of maybe them getting married, them having kids or whatever the future holds. But there is a chance, but I'm not going to say it's going to happen in this finale. Okay, so let's move on to Ion's last question, who says, Who could be dead in the funeral episode? We've discussed this at quite a length before, especially in the live stream, and also I did a kind of video on it. However, I'm not going to bore you here, so I'm just going to quickly fire through the character choices of who could be dead. So I think the big one is probably William. Now, this has been something that's been theorized. I haven't looked too much into the details as to whose funeral it is because I don't want to know. And I'm sure you guys don't want to know exactly who it is, so it's still good to theorize. But I think it's probably most likely going to be William because he wasn't there during the funeral scene and he hasn't been in a lot of scenes. So you can kind of assume that something might have happened to him or he's gone away. However, there is also the joining factor of like Wynn and Monel and James being back. Who do they all have in common? Well, they all used to work for Cat Grant at Catco. So what happens if it's Cat Grant that has died? And that makes sense because all these other characters do have some sort of relationship with Cat Grant. 
at some point, even if they weren't, like, their right-hand woman or left-hand man or whatever, like, they all have some sort of connection to her, so I'm gonna say Cat Grant is probably like the second most likely. So those are my good theories right now, like I think they're pretty solid, it could turn out to be one of the two, however I would be kind of shocked if it's anyone else as of right now, just by kind of looking at what we have and the characters that are showing up at the funeral scene, it seems like it's someone that at least three quarters of the team really knows. So that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. Also you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, but for now, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.